Welcome to Get Offset. My name is Emily, and I'm here to tell you to stop overthinking that gift you need to get that person. They're going to love whatever you get them because it's coming from you. Unless it's a small child, in which case uh, I have the fear also. <laughs> Well, my name is Emily, and I'm here with this Traveler guitar, specifically their Edge series. Um, I got this from Sweetwater in exchange for a review and a demo, and I'm going to give it to you. I got this guitar at the perfect time. I was about to um, go travel for Thanksgiving. I was going to have about 10 days, South Carolina, New York. And I like to have a guitar to fiddle with. And then my mother does own some quite nice guitars. I'm not the only guitarist in the family. Uh, I kind of wanted to have my own, especially while I was in New York. So when Sweetwater asked me if I wanted to demo a travel guitar, I said, yeah, sounds fun. And so this is the one I went with. I picked this one because a lot of the Traveler guitars kind of look sort of like Les Pauls or Strats, just with everything taken away or smaller. This had its own vibe, and I really, uh, that resounded with me. And I, I'm going to be honest, I'm not, I'm not screwing with you. I, I like the way this looks. I think this looks really cool. Uh, it's pretty ergonomic. It's lightweight, um, and with a strap pulled all the way tight, it's really comfortable to sit with, or you can kind of prop it up like that which is what I did in the airport because my flight, friends, was delayed six and a half hours uh, from Seattle to Atlanta. And yes, I did miss the last flight out of Atlanta. So also I had a guitar for the like six hours I was in the hotel or whatever. <laughs> because yeah, uh, get to the hotel at like 10 and then you gotta leave it at four. Thanks, Delta. <laughs> So let's talk about some of the features of this guitar, then I'll play it for a bit. Uh, it has the jack is up there, which is a little on the kit. Like, I, I don't love it up here. I get minimizing. There's probably some reason. I don't really know. Uh, I'm going to take it off really quickly just to show you the back. So the tuning machines are all in the back there. This doesn't really pose a problem. They're muted by this little piece of fabric there. I was able to stow a little string right there. And the bag for this fits really easily in all the overhead bends on an airplane. Um, so legally, I hope you know that if there's space when you board, they have to let you bring the guitar on the plane. One of the planes I was on was newer and it seemed to be less wide. So I'm not even sure like a, a real guitar could have fit on, on that airplane. But this, no problem. For one flight, of, we did put it in the coat rack because it was another one of those newer planes that's made to put the bags like on their side and it can fit like four, three or four of them very tightly. And pe someone who boarded after me was mad that my guitar was taking up space. So they put it in the coat closet, which is fine. The bag itself uh, has a small pocket. I was able to fit some Waza Air headphones, which I highly recommend. It was so convenient, though Traveler and other people do make a uh, little plug in um, uh, headphone amps. So you plug it into the input. Some of them, like the Mustang Micro has different sounds you can sort through. I have a demo on that. Uh, and then other people like Vox and Traveler sell like just single sound amps. I think this sounds best clean. It has a piezo pickup. So <laughs> uh, that doesn't bother me when it's clean. Normally I'm muting that. But when there's distortion, you can hear kind of like a little squeak, faint squeaking sound. But that's pretty fine. Uh, the tuning, again, tuning pegs are right here. And uh, they're pretty easy to use. I did find myself accidentally like uh, muting the high E as I was adjusting it. Just because of where it is. But other than that, it's kind of easy to use. I'm tuning right now. Not so bad. And that G, oh, see, I'm looking for the headstock. And I'm tuning. 
Easy to use. Holds its tune relatively well. So while I would have loved to have shown how these sound with the Waza Air exactly how I used it, you can't get sound out of the Waza Air in any easy way. So I'm just not going to. Um, but I'm using my the Benson Chimera plugin from Mixwave. Affiliate link for that and this in the video description. Um, the one thing I will say before I... Well, actually, this, this, this cute little hanger, so you can hang it on like a coat rack or in a closet. It's held together just by this little, um, it's a zip tie. It's a black zip tie. So if you don't like this, and you might not, you can just snip it off. And then if you want to put it back on, it's just a zip tie. So nothing major <laughs> there to get upset about. Um, the one other thing I will say is because uh, this guitar has this... <laughs> It doesn't, there's not string after the fretboard <laughs> and there's not string really after here. That affects the tension a lot. So you are going to find it more difficult to do big bends on this guitar. Um, it just takes some getting used to, but at first it might be kind of weird. So I'm gonna play this, I'm gonna play it clean. I had a lot of time to practice the song in the airport, so I hope I do it justice uh, and then I'll, just show you how it sounds with distortion. I mostly played it largely clean with some reverb, really pretty much how you're going to hear it right now. All right, let's go. hit some weird notes in there but I think you get the idea so let's do a little test to see how well intonated this is because you might have noticed you can't adjust the intonation it's an acoustic style bridge which isn't always a problem it's not a problem with my tune to tone so let's find out Ooh. wire that's good that's good that's very close. A little sharp. Pretty close. Pretty close to a little sharp. Very close. That might have been the sharpest, but not, I don't feel particularly bothered by it. Again, talking about the tension, it's especially awkward up here if you're trying to bend. that bad. What I struggled most getting used to was I didn't realize how much I used the headstock to kind of give myself a gauge of where I am on the fretboard. This is probably something that takes some adjustment um, just as far as your peripherals go on any headless guitar. So it's not unique to this instrument at all. Uh, what else did I want to talk about? Oh yeah, I wanted to play it uh, with some distortion so you could hear <laughs> exactly the squeakies. <laughs> 
It's the strap. A quieter strap, you wouldn't hear that. So that's just the leather on the guitar strap. It's kind of funny. <laughs> bend it just might take some getting used to but all in all I, I think this guitar sounds like surprisingly good I like a nice piezo uh, so that's how, where I am on it <laughs> Let an intrusive thought win there. Uh, <laughs> so that's a quick look at the Traveler guitar. I really, really like this. I couldn't stop playing it at the airport. Not, I had choices. Like I could have pulled up something on my iPad, listened to some podcasts, but I was having a lot of fun just playing this. It's lightweight. Uh, the the straps adjust, which took me some figuring out, embarrassingly took a while to figure that one out for me. I had a very long day. Again, the pocket's big enough for like Waza Air and I could fit my iPad in there too um, or a puzzle book or something. So you can get some other things in there. On the trip back, I actually put some clothes in the bag with the guitar because uh, <laughs> you know you accumulate things on trips that's pretty normal but that's that's a look at this little traveler guitar i really recommend it uh the sound impressed me the build i you know it's i like the way it looks i it's lightweight um it's very surprisingly comfortable the one other thing i forgot to point out is the nut width it's a little longer than I'm used to. I'm used to a narrower nut width, um, but it didn't really bother me too much. But if that does bother you, that's something to consider. I didn't look to see if Traveler has uh, variations on that nut width, but it would be really nice if they did. Uh, the frets are really nice, extremely smooth fret edges. Um, they're well crowned. This is a really well-made little guitar. Um, Again, I'm just really, really impressed with it. So if you're interested in this in anything, please check out those affiliate links on Sweetwater. Link in video description. Everybody out there, please like, comment, subscribe. It really helps us. Uh, tell me what else you want to see me demo. Tell other brands when you want me to demo stuff. That helps too. We have a Patreon at patreon.com slash get offset if you want to support. You can also drop some funds in the super chat if you're watching the premiere or there's a give thanks button below where you can also um, help support the channel financially. All this does uh, cost money. I got to pay for the lights. I got to pay for the hosting of things and tools and other stuff, the software that I use. So any anything you, you want to give, I appreciate it. But my favorite way to support the channel is still to like, comment, and subscribe and tell your favorite brands about us. So to everybody out there, thanks for watching. Thanks for understanding. Don't overthink those holiday gifts. Until next time, my name is Emily. Goodbye.